Welcome back Pets fans for the final time to the Champions League final. 10 episodes of Pez 6 greatness has culminated of Barcelona versus Inter Milan at the Olympic Stadium, otherwise known as the Spyro Louis. Adriano, as the last live goal scorer, must score more than three goals to surpass Roy Mackay, otherwise the Golden Boot is going to Munich. One final special thank you to Fabri55 for providing the original season patch for PES 6, Benicio for the magnificent HD scoreboards, and finally Gladiator Patch for providing the custom Champions League final kits utilized in this video. Make sure to keep an eye on his 2008-2009 patch for PES 6. Everybody in the stadium has found their seats. It is time for the grand final in the in the land of Olympic heritage and sporting pressure of Athens. Barcelona return to the Champions League final for the second year running. They defend the title against what began the campaign as underachievers Inter Milan competing in their first Champions League final since 1972 when they lost to Ajax in Rotterdam. Xavi, Iniesta, Chiram Zambrotta and of course Lionel Messi feature for Barcelona unlike last year in Paris. Figo will feature against his former club and Ibrahimovic of course against his future club. The Champions League final is underway in Athens 2007. Figo's cross goes whistling past Adriano's head. Adriano to Ibrahimovic. Now Figo has kept his eye on Adriano. And there is the first warning shot of the Champions League final. Valdez well aware who the most dangerous man on the Inter Milan side of the pitch is tonight. Deco retreats slightly to Giovanni Van Bronckhorst as he approaches the Italian penalty area with little to no resistance. And the consequence is that Xavi has slipped a note under the Inter Milan door. 1-0 to the reigning and defending champions, it reads, Xavi avenges his Champions League final sit-out of 2006 and opens this occasion with a brilliant opening goal. 15 minutes is all it's taken for Barcelona to take the lead. Adriano lays it off to Figo, that's a cushion save by Victor Valdez. Trapped by Ibrahimovic, Adriano only has Puyol to beat, well, well that confrontation has come to an end. Yellow card for the Barcelona captain Carlos Puyol, taking no chances on Adriano. Maicon belts one in towards Ibrahimovic, can't find the target. Here is Iniesta, Ete planted into the path of Ronaldinho. Fantastic piece of play from Barcelona. And Ronaldinho is so unfortunate that Cesar, his countryman, was waiting. First corner to Barcelona, first goal from the set piece. It's Deco, who nabbed two goals in that fateful semi final against Bayern Munich. His tally goes up to five. Two of his goals in this tournament have come from the skull. That might just make them kings of Europe for the second year in a row. Stankovic catches up with the loose ball. Adriano! This time he comes a step closer to giving Valdez a scare in front of the Barcelona goal. Maicon finally reaches the overlap. Adriano! Far more comfortable save from Valdez. A few minutes left of the first half. As Puyol will attempt to sweep. Here's Ronaldinho. A lot of people would have put money on him scoring in last year's final. Well, this time he might just well come close to pulling it off this year. And the only thing he pulls is to strike wide. First half stoppage time as Stankovic reaches Adriano who lays it off to Ibrahimovic. He sprays upon where Valdez lays. Swung in towards Ibrahimovic who fails to keep the strike low enough to trouble Barcelona. Half time in Athens as the champions Barcelona 
have a tremendous two-goal advantage. At half-time, it is Barcelona 2, Inter Milan 0. Titov. We are approaching the hour mark. Cleared away by Cordoba. It's hurled back in by Boyer in save. Inter Milan are traumatised by this bombshell dropped by the Kremlin in Lombardi. Denis Boyerintsev has just awarded the visitors the most unlikely of leads against Internazionale. This is one of those wishful hits. With the wind and the sails underneath it, it gushes over the head of Julio Cesar. He is stranded like an orphan in a hurricane. Studio. It's just done the honours of knocking it down to Nani. Still going. Nani! From an impossible angle. The unflappable gymnastics follow. Nani has asked nothing of Oliver Kahn, but has walked away with two handfuls of questions asked of the German legend. How did neither of those hands stop this strike? It's pinged forward by Lennon, and Venegor has done it! He has blasted it over the head of Quim, seemingly from out of nowhere. It's the man with the longest name in the Champions League, Jan Venegor of Herslink. An incredible race where Intev has scored that stunning goal against Inter. Pavlashenko to the feet of Awusu Abeyi, who teaches Daniel Van Boyten a lesson in keeping your legs closed. He's fired it under that big Belgian's bridge. Both of those legs wide open like a gate, shuts them too little, too late. Here is Angelov, give and go to Boromirov. The ones you pass pays off, and will the finish? It looks like it does! Angelov with a wonder goal against Werder Bremen. Oh, it's Bas Wunderdor from Angelov. The Germans are back in the juicer, avoiding the blade spiraling around their feet as they cling onto the edge for dear life. Velasso to Romagnoli, back to Miguel Velasso. Oh, he opens fire and it's found a way in. Like a torpedo skirting along the surface, Miguel Veloso has equalised for Sporting Lisbon, playing for nothing but pride. And how can you not be proud of a strike like this? Spartak Moscow resorting to square one. Five minutes played of the second half. It's Mashamani. Bellamy to Jamal! Oh, oh. It is a killer! It is clinical, oh it's clitoral, courtesy of the trademark of Javard. Quap! And just like that, Liverpool resume the lead in thunderous fashion from this gigantic hit from Javard. I'm at the Valencian now. Luis Adriano cuts inside and enables a classic strike from Marika. Three goals to nil. And it is the third goal in 30 minutes for Shatka Donetsk. It's gonna be a long night for Olympiakos. He bounded off the post. Quickly. The one two is barely applied. What a finish! A fantastic give and go from the fantastic Fabrizio Micoli. Copenhagen's dream is drifting away in the Champions League. Schweinsteiger punts one into the box. This is cleared away by Tinetti. Schweinsteiger returns to finish what he started with a thunderous volley against Roma. Bayern's first attempt on goal. And it's one that can't be topped by Bastian Schweinsteiger. That is a goal of glory. A hellacious hit, a volley, a volley of vaginal nectar. That is a goal of the season contender. Van Bronckhorst. Matizalem, hello. And for 
the second week in a row, Shatka have preempted Barcelona with the jump ahead. Regardless of how high that Barcelona will jump, it would never be enough to prevent the troublemaking form of Matazalem. Isaac. When our play, the Barcelona still have no goal, no way back into the game. They are going out as we speak, and they can't deal with this clearance. Ah! Elano bringing that beautiful agony to Barcelona's bones. You are not hallucinating. Barcelona are suffering a humiliating defeat at Shakhtar Donetsk. It is horrifying. If you are a Catalonian, it is mesmerizing if you are a neutral. Inspiring if you are Donikiani. Bellamy's passed it on to Finnan. Sends a cross in this lad, it is Zenden, who is untouched in the box. Bolo Zenden coming back to Madrid to haunt the Galacticos just as he did for their domestic rivals, Barcelona. Not even remotely challenged in that penalty area. In spite of the wobble at the back, it seems like United aren't at risk of forfeiting a 3-0 lead yet again. Absolutely no chance. Manchester United's deputy captain fires them into the quarter-finals in style. It's a nostalgic goal from Ryan Giggs that takes us back a few years. And I don't doubt for a minute that Cristiano Ronaldo watched that one very closely and took a few notes. Final five of the first 45. Gerard, boom! Detonates the bomb as he passes Van Bommel. He just can't help himself. He's thumped Liverpool back into the game, right in front of the cop. Liverpool have been lifted right at the end of the first half. A fresh start going into the second. And just as he did in Istanbul, it's Liverpool's leader who initiates the rally cry. It's Clichy, clear the way. Gale must do better. Oh my God! Is that good enough for you, sir? said one Frenchman to another. We, says Henri, you'll be hard pressed to find anyone in this castle of Catalonia who will disagree with that volley. Oh my God, what a goal. Thierry Henri is ruining Barcelona's reign as their champions of Europe. Never, no stranger to Manchester United. Oh, and Adriano, he gets acquainted with them. What a goal! It's practically come out of nothing. It's a walk-away goal. He kicks it and walks away. The effortless brilliance of the PES 6 icon, Adriano. This doesn't pay off. Henrik Larsson opens fire. Well, Inter's Brazilian isn't the only man in form. Henrik Larsson, who didn't have long at all to settle into a rhythm. Well, now, He's on his fifth goal in three games. Incredible strike from the left foot. Ibrahimovic. Vieira, no stranger to Manchester United. And it's a reunion at Old Trafford, marked by a goal of gate-crashing grandeur. Patrick Vieira strikes hard against his former Arsenal rival, Manchester United. It's a fast start for Inter Milan. Ronaldo, Larson comes on his left foot and it's ricocheted off the post just as he did in Milan as well. It's deja vu, Rooney and Larson. Goal number six for Larson and he is just two goals behind Adriano in four games. His goal scorer to Sadov. Inzaghi, Inzaghi has floated it into the top corner. Well, Inzaghi is basically the Italian Van Nistelrooy. He's not exactly renowned for beautiful goals from distance. Well, he now has one on his resume. Milan have come back, and, you know, it yields in the face of Claudio Pizarro. Here is Iniesta, goal! Perfect start, a dream start for the visitors, Barcelona. The champions have taken the lead. It is the La Masia graduate 
El Illusionista, Andreas Iniesta. A pinging strike from outside with D of the zone. Oliver Kahn must defend. That had some mighty pace on it. Zaydorf gets around Mykon, finds Kaka. He shimmies inside. Kaka! Well, the bright lights of Milan will sink to the colors of red and black. Kaka! Brilliant piece of genius from him. In a game where all the talk was on Ronaldo versus Adriano, it is actually. It is actually the Brazilian babyface Kaka who makes the first talking point in the Milan derby of the second half. It's going to be Figo's honour. Cambiasso knocks it back towards the mixer. Now is he clearing from Gattuso? Cambiasso retaliates with a mighty, mighty hit. Esteban Cambiasso signs into Milan's declaration of war in the final battle of Milan. And we are back for the second half of the Champions League final. Adriano dropping back a lot deeper than many would prefer. When he gets around Carlos Puyol, Adriano is still going. Adriano, he strikes the post. He can't come much closer than this. Tips out by Churam from a corner. Here's Figo's corner again, and Ibrahimovic spoils the rewards of the goal post. Insurrection. It's played out wide to Lionel Messi, who has a ton of space. He picks up Ronaldinho. It's going through. Cesar could not get there quick enough. Ronaldinho has surely blown into Milan back across the water to Lombardi. Well, they're the current champions of Europe for a reason. They've been far from popular, but the Catalonians deserve credibility. Etta. Here is Lionel Messi, he cuts inside and scares Zanetti into dropping his guard. Deco, that one's played short. Here is Messi again, back to Deco, the free kick taker. Eto is in the center. Julio Cesar prevents a verdict of four goal humiliation. Sent in by Figo, it's dropped to the chest of Ibrahimovic and Cambiasso gets in his way. There is Luis Figo playing against his former club, of which hates him dearly. It's dropped into the lap of Ibrahimovic, and Inter Milan have got a goal back. It's ever so late in the day, five minutes remain, but stranger things have happened in Istanbul. It's very much possible. For all the chances Internazionale have had, they finally find a strike of luck and kiss the back of the goal net. Square to Adriano. He is on eight goals, can't get any closer to nine when you have shot power. 99. It's crashed by failing the scissor kick, and Cambiasso can't repeat the volley he did against AC Milan. It was a one way final, and the final whistle confirms it. Last year, Barcelona were crowned champions for the first time in 14 years and now two titles have come along back to back. The champions of Europe, they remain. The kings of the continent, the Catalans. Barcelona are still your Champions League winners of 2007. There are people moving in the city They try to bring us down Storm the capital building not so pretty For a hollow drumbeat clown This information, it's a pity Enough to make you drown So I hope you hear my plea this day
Well, it's sure to be a polarizing result in the comments below, but Barcelona's quality under pressure doesn't seem to diminish. Adriano's disappointment confirms Roy Mackay is the Golden Boot winner of the Champions League of 2007. And for the final time, a huge thank you to everybody who joined along this retro journey through the PES 6 Champions League. Don't go anywhere, we have more Champions League action to follow as we resume the 2022 last 16 of the Champions League.